Shalom, shalom. Blessings, blessings from Ahava Love Ministry. Um, we here desire to make sure that we're showing forth the love of Yah, the Ahava in action. Truly, our prayer is that when you all encounter us as brothers and sisters, a part of the assemblies and a part of those that we're connected to, that we experience the love of y'all like never before, that you would not feel outcast, that you would not feel uh, rejected, but that you would be drawn by the ruach of y'all within us that's showing forth his love. So today, um, the thought for today is we can't hide anything from y'all. I am going to give two books that I'll be sharing from. And the first is going to be Ecclesiasticus 17. And I'm going to ask uh, for a reader if I could get assistance in that. And if we could start at verse 5, 5 through, five through 18, yes. They received the use of five operations of Yahuwah, and in the sixth place he imparted them understanding, and in the seventh, speech, an interpreter of the cogitations thereof. Counsel and a tongue, and eyes and ears, and a heart gave he them to understand. Withal he filled them with the knowledge of understanding, and showed them good and evil. He set his eye upon their hearts, that he might show them the greatness of his works. He gave them to esteem in his marvelous acts forever, that they might declare his works with understanding. The elect shall praise his Kodesh name. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. He made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgments. Their eyes saw the majesty of his esteem or his splendor, and their ears heard his <coughs> magnificent voice. And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness, and he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. The ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. Every man from his youth is given to evil, neither could they make to themselves fleshy hearts for stony. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over the people. For Yasharel is Yahuwah's portion, whom, being his firstborn, he nourisheth them with discipline, and, give, and giving him the light of his love doth not forsake him. Hallelujah. Praise Abba. The book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. For, for, them, for those that don't know, have never heard of the book, um, you can find it in the Sefer. 17th chapter has always uh, drawn me after doing a study on the beginning, the start of Genesis in the 66 books, uh, Genesis in its entirety. This would be a, not an offspring, but an addition to. I like to call it an extended version of our scriptures, something that was extracted. Uh, by a set of people who, who deemed it, you know, not credible. But indeed, we do. Because this gives us a, a better insight of what truly transpired or a better piece to the puzzle, if you will, that we may see the bigger picture. Um, in the beginning, Adam and Eve were giving all that they needed to remain in a place of uh, set-apartness, uh, uh, holiness or being kadosh. It was the Hebrew word for holiness. And that was a flaw. That was a failure. That was a, um, a desire and a longing that came upon Eve that caused her to be curious and to abandon the teachings of Torah, the teachings of their father. And what I think is so amazing is, and you know, I'm, I'm not going to try to you know, uh, step on our toes too much, but we're going to tell the truth today. What I think is amazing is, is that we will be aware of the 66 books, cling to the portions we want, just like today's time, we will, we will go to Malachi and grab that, uh, <laughs> that verse or two out of Malachi when it comes to your money, but we won't go back to Genesis, look and search out the scriptures for what man's standing has been giving, their foundational standing is giving, and their rules to conduct themselves by. Don't you find that interesting? 
I do. But today's subject is, there's nothing hidden from y'all. We can't hide it. <laughs> you can't hide a thing from its creator. Just like an inventor that invents a thing or invents, you know, something unique. You cannot take away that inventor's, uh, if, if you will, his patent, but he also has a set of instructions as to how this particular uh, patent or what he's invented works, that it may be efficient, that it works properly. So what I say to us, and I'm saying to us, I'm speaking to us as his people, those who are named uh, as believers or Yasharal, those who are believe in the Messiah as your salvation and Yahuwah as the father and the Ruach that comes to lead and guide you into all truth. We cannot separate the teachings. The foundation is all inclusive. Yeshua is written in the volume of the book. So in the garden, they were given, we were given counsel and a tongue and eyes, ears and a heart gave he them to understand. Wow. Powerful to me. Amazing. With all, he filled them with knowledge of understanding and showed them good and evil. So he taught us, right? He taught them. He taught Adam and Eve. He has teachers today here for the edification of the building of the, the body of the Messiah. He's placed gifts to do what? To teach us. He set his eyes Upon their hearts, hearts can be, uh, is always, for the most part, used synonymously with our mind, the nephesh. The heart, the organ, is completely different when we're looking at scripture to, to signify, it, when he said his heart's upon their organ, no. He set his heart upon their mind when he imparted to them these faculties to help them along the way, to stay the course. So, that he might show them the greatness of his works. He gave them to the esteem in his marvelous act forever. Key word, forever. This is a place that Adam and Eve, that we as uh, humankind should have been able to lavish, to live, to thrive forever. That they might declare their works, work. your mom and daddy's works, his works. Every division that is known about uh, up under this earth of uh, different denominations works. No, his works. His works with understanding. And then the elect praised his holy name. They praised him for it. It was untainted. It was remarkable. The works that had been done before them was marvelous in his eyes. They were able to give esteem to the Most High Yah. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the Torah for life and heritage. The Torah for life, for a heritage. Let me fix that. The Torah for life, not, um, <laughs> not after the crucifixion, the dying, the burial, resurrection of Hamashiach. Not just then. You know, they struggle with it being before saying that Yahushua came to do away with it when he clearly shouted out, I didn't come to do away with the law. I came to set it up right, to fulfill it. So this Torah that was given in this garden at this time was given for, for life, of life, and for heritage. Do we know what a heritage is? We so claim the, the black history or the black heritage or whatever nationality you are our heritage means you never forget it you make sure that it's never forgotten you do all that you can to preserve it there's nothing hidden before the eyes of y'all we can't hide anything we're going somewhere it says he made an everlasting covenant with them covenants with y'all never break everlasting is everlasting hallelujah he showed them his judgment. I mean, he showed them the pros and the cons. He showed them the, the, the um, I'm going to say, the penalties for doing the evil and the blessings 
for keeping with the good. And their eyes saw majesty of his esteem. And their ears heard his uh, uh, splendor, his uh, glorious voice. And he said unto them, beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. When we know that is to love. Love your neighbor above yourself. Prefer your neighbor above yourself. That was the second. The first is given to love Yahuwah with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our substance, with all our essence, everything concerning us. We are to love him. And he's there. Oh, okay. Their ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. Every man from his youth is given to evil. Every man from his youth is given to evil. Neither could they make themselves fleshly hearts for stony. For in the division of the nations of the whole world or the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Yasharal, are we the world's portion? Yeah. We are Yahuwah's portion. Whom being the firstborn, he nourishes with discipline. He nourishes you with uh, patty caking you alone. He nourishes you with uh, wanting sayings. He nourishes you. He nourishes us with lavish sayings. No, he nourishes us with discipline. We can't hide anything from the eyes of Yahuwah, the one who sits upon the throne. Hallelujah. He do sit high and he is, he does look low, but it's in reference to his people to see what we're doing with the faculties he gave us for understanding and the keeping of his Torah. What have you allowed into your gates? What are you allowing um, on a daily basis on your downtime that you're meditating upon? Nothing is hid from the eyes of whom we have to do. And we're going to get to uh, Hebrews. And it says he nourishes with discipline and giving him the light of his love does not forsake him. So I'm I'm going to say this today because I believe the Ruach, I believe Yah is really speaking this. For all believers who believe that the, the, the scriptures are prophetic. And that as in scripture, there was a remnant that did not bow to Baal. That there would always be a remnant looking for the coming of the Messiah to come again. If you be found in what I just said today, know that the Father is looking you over. Know that the Father is truly trying his people. He's testing our hearts. He's testing where we are. Are we faithful enough for the call in which he called us to? Are we walking worthy of the call in which he called us to? You are being tested and you are being tried. Will we pass the test? Because Adam and Eve, they failed. But praises be to the Most High Yah who brought Yahushua into our lives. Out of the loins of the Father, out of the Ruach, of, 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 out of the Shamayin of holiness, into the womb of a woman and set him apart that he may redo what man messed up. I'm talking to us today. If you are in that part of the remnant that has not bowed to Baal, know that the Father sees where you are. He knows the very thoughts. That you think. And today I'm not talking about just blessings after blessings. We need to deal where we are because there is damnation. Hell and, 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 and forever being damned when we don't obey the ways of Yah. The Torah in, in, the, Torah in the beginning in the book of Genesis was set. Was set in place. For Adam and Eve to follow. They gave up their dominion. They gave up their authority. They begin to walk in fear. Fear will kill you. And I like 
how Pastor Battle teaches it in reference to uh, the writings of Paul. We have no longer been given the spirit of what? Fear. But we have been adopted. The given the spirit of adoption whereby we cry out who? Not bastards. Not hell to idolatry. Not hell to politics. Not hell to all these, up to the government. No, hell king of kings. Yahuwah, great and mighty. Yeshua, the almighty one. That's who our homage is to. Believe me, you are being tested and tried to see if you can stand the fire as our ancestors did. And if you look in the extended books, there is a, there is a, a, a better or even more, uh, I'm going to say, meteor story to Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Or Isaiah, say the names for me. Uh, Mishael, Hananiah, and Azariah. Mishael, Hananiah, and Azariah. They were chosen for their distinction, how they excelled above all that, and they stood out. As Yasharal, you should be standing up. Not because of what you got, not because of what you have materially uh, acquired, not because your fat house, your fat bank account, or your wide car, your big car on, on, on whatever rims riding on twenty foes. You should be standing out because of the light of Yahuwah shining within you, according to the gospel, hallelujah, of the book of Mark and Luke, hallelujah, and I believe even uh uh uh, uh Matthew that Yahusha told them that we are a city. That sit upon a hill, hallelujah, that shall not be hidden. Which of you will light a candle and put it up under the table? Who does it? It is good for nothing that way. We are truly the salt of the earth. And if, and if the salt lost its savor, where would it be good for? Light and salt, they're used pervert, per, for preservation. Preservation for food. Preservation for people is an additive and a mineral, you know, that, that, that most need. Yashara, that's who we are. We have substance, but our inside must be cleaned. Our inside must be purified as Dawid as Yah to try him, to see, look him over, try the reins of his heart that he may be dealt with, to renew in him, hallelujah. A clean heart and a contrite spirit. Are you all ready today to truly profess that we are Kadosh set apart ones awaiting the master's return? What are you doing with your gifts as the parable? Have you buried it? Or do you fear of the one who invested into you? Hallelujah. Have you went and went out and have you gained? Are you telling others about the goodness of this good news? Hallelujah. The goodness of the king of kings. Hallelujah. Have you begotten any fruit? There's nothing hidden from the eyes of our great one. Nothing hidden from the eyes of Yah. And we're going to go to Hebrews. One thing that Adam and Eve thought they could do, they thought they could hide. And they used a man-made material. Well, let me say that not man-made, but they used an inferior material to cover themselves with such as leaves. But it wasn't enough because the sin that they had committed needed bloodshed. They needed to be redeemed. And we know that the bloodshed of Hamashiach has redeemed us to this day. He will spoke about, about being the repairer of the breach of the pathways to dwell in. He is the repairer of the breach. Hallelujah. It's because of his blood right now that I have salvation. You have salvation. And Yahushua finished a work. He finished a work. Because he knew he couldn't hide anything from the one he had to answer to. He finished that work. He told him right where he was. From the Garden of Gethsemane to being vexed. Hallelujah. <laughs> With the sayings and the teachings of the Pharisees. From being bothered and moved emotionally from the death of his friend Lazarus. Oh my goodness. There's nothing that we can hide from the master, our king. Adam and Eve thought they could, could take a material made or uh, picked up by their hands 
and to cover their sins they could not. And Yahushua came back in the book of Genesis and clothed them, covered them with a fur. Do fur just appear? Or would this be, be, be in proper context to say maybe he just had to slaughter or sacrifice an animal to cover their nakedness? That it become uh, vile and unacceptable because something she allowed and they allowed in their gates to distort their view, to make their fruit rotten, to no longer be able to have a fellowship in the garden. Hallelujah. That that garden would no longer yield to them. We don't want to be found in that state. So it's best we admit truly where we are. Go to the Father. Admit where you are. Ask the Father to look you over, to cleanse you, to purify you, to deal with your mind, to deal with your past, to deal with these things that have you bound. And as Paul asked, who hindered you? He says, he says, who hindered you? What is your hindrance today? It's you. It's the people. It's Yasharal. There's nothing wrong with the word of Yah. There's nothing wrong with the Ruach HaKodesh. There's nothing wrong with our king of the universe. It's the people of Yah who continue to go a whoring, who continue to truly sprout themselves out as Isaiah told them, or, you know, upon a hill and letting any and everything in and out. Not being subject to the Torah, the words, and the teachings of Yah. You allowing it. Yahshua, we can't allow it. Get off your back. Stand up. Stand on the Torah. Stand on the teachings that were given according to Ecclesiasticus. Giving in life and for an inheritance. You can't go around quoting um, and I'm serious. If there are any issues, please inbox us, text us. I have permission from my leader, you know, to go forth. But you can't go around quoting. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue it, it, uh, rise up against me and judgment shall be condemned. And stop right there and don't know that the latter part of that, the sum it up in order to get the beginning. It says, this is a heritage of the servants of the Most High Yah. And how do you know that this is a heritage? Because you have dug in his Torah. Because you are living a lifestyle that is pleasing and that is wanting and that would... That would be a byproduct of you living it. Quoting scriptures. Halfway. And don't know what the sum of the, the, the sum or the intent of the context is saying. And I've heard about this cherry picking. You know, because it fits right here. But the one thing about Abba, it is, and, I, and, and, and Yeshua tells them all, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, it's all or nothing. I am one, just as my Father is one. He is on the throne, and I'm down here doing his bidding. And if I don't go away, the Comforter shall not come. He is all-inclusive. And there's a clear distinction between uh, Yahuwah, the Father, Yahusha, the Son, and the Ruach HaKodesh. That's our comforter and keeper. I am not at all in any way promoting the Trinity because it's not so within Scripture. And it takes us to dig within the Torah of Yah, the Word of Yah, to find it. I don't stand on my own two toes. I stand because of the Ruach HaKodesh of Yah has allowed me to live. Your life is not your own. Especially if you claim to do the bidding of the Most High Yah. Especially if you claim to be a disciple or a Talmudid of Yeshua HaMashiach. So in that garden. They gave up the authority in that garden. They allowed their faculties that Yah had given them, uh, hallelujah, as he looked upon them 
to see the, the purity of that garden, to see the wealth in that garden, to see all that they had in that garden to allow them to know that he was their portion and they ruined it. But praises be to the most high Yah for Yeshua HaMashiach, hallelujah, that came and revived a dead people that came and saved a, 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 a Yasharal on our way to forever damnation. But for those who are truly a remnant, Hallelujah. I say to you, let Abba truly try your heart. Let him truly look you over. Let him truly assess you. Let him cut you back. Let him prune you, not just so that you may have more, but rather truly that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, a holy one's book of life, that Lamb's book of life. Check revelations on that one and then on top of that miracles can happen any day through anybody they have seances they have witches and warlocks who can do the same thing but the distinction is a set apart one hallelujah as yahushua told them how can beelzebub cast out beelzebub he said i am not of Beelzebub. But if you knew me, if you knew my father, you would know that it is me operating by the Wolk HaKodesh. And this is the only differentiation that is made on today. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Let your heart be a heart of purity and one walking on the foundation of the word of Yah. Today, Yasharov, you can't hide nothing from the Most High. All those skeleton bones in the closet, all the embezzlement that was done, all that I'm going to take it to my grave until I die, all the white lies will be exposed. And we're going to end it with Hebrews chapter 4. Hallelujah. No, you can't, we can't hide. We can't hide a thing from the Most High. Yah. It will be found out. And whether you be called to the carpet here in this uh, here you in this United States, or whether you're still in this uh, earthly temple, this earthly garment, or let me say this little temple, this vessel, this sh this shallow shell, this shell we have, you know, because man is uh, made up of three parts. We have a body that has a a a a a a soul which is we're talking about our mind, and then we have a spirit. So whether you in this soul, I mean, whether you in this shell right here. And you ain't been dealt with yet? The Father is going to deal with it. The Father going to deal with everybody. He going to deal with every work. So it's time to repent. It's time to repent. Holding a title or quote unquote an office and have not been authorized when you really truly look at that scripture. When he tells you, oh, after you said, haven't I cast out devils in your name? Haven't I performed miracles in your name? And he said, oh, yeah, you did all this, but I didn't authorize you. And he says, get from me, you wicked and unfaithful servant. Do you think that any of us could bear that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Repent because it's coming. It's coming. Yep. The wrath of the Most High is coming. He is just. He is mighty. And I don't, I don't question his sovereignty. Because at one moment he can slay you, he is just. At one moment he can lift you high, he is just. We had just better repent and do not end up in the hands of the angry Most High Yah. Repent. Can I get a reader? Hebrews 4, starting at verse 1, please. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left uh, left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the uh, good news preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he spake in a certain place on the seventh day, on this wise, and Elohim did rest on the seventh day from all his works. And in this place, again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. 
Again, he limiteth the certain days, saying, And David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. For if Yahushua had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of Yah. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as Yah did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of the soul and spirit of the joints and marrow, and the discerner, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. Neither is that neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him who with whom we have to do. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahushua, the son of Yah, let us hold fast our Hallelujah. profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the filling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to, to help in time of need. Hallelujah. So we're going to work with uh, these verses here. And I, I quickly want to point out that there was a, a day set aside for rest. Seventh day. The Shabbat of the Most High Yah. It was written then. It's written as Yeshua spoke it. He repeated it. And it's written now, if you will, in the quote-unquote New Testament. Where can you reference it? Why is it obsolete? Why is it so foreign? Why? Why? But it says that we should be laboring to see ourselves getting into the rest of Yah. But most are laboring for a name, for the glam and the glitter, for a platform. You're laboring for um, natural things, things that will waste away, things that will be destroyed, that moth and the rust, they will eat it up. Our labor should be for those things of eternity, things that are eternal, that we would one day reign with the Most High, that when we do, and as it's been taught so out of era, just in era, and it's just totally far-fetched, that being left behind, that it was so-called good for those who were caught up. That's a lie. It's so-called good for those who are still standing on this ground. Because there's a judgment. There's a great white throne judgment. And there's a judgment seat of the Most High Yah. And one or, or the other, you're going to find yourself before. So our desire as Yashara should be, should be working, hallelujah, toward entering into this rest. This eternal rest with the Most High. And it starts with the book of Genesis and the extra biblical books. Finding out what's our foundational teaching. Hallelujah. How, how Yahushua came and recompensed, came in and brought us back. Hallelujah. Came and restored, came and delivered, gave himself up. Hallelujah. That we can have a proper understanding of his truth of the truth of Yah, hallelujah, that we can somehow make it back to the garden, the garden of Eden, and you ain't making it back carrying the baggage and the smell of this old world on you, as the songwriter says, of this old world, because this too shall pass away, hallelujah, I want to find myself, hallelujah, entering and working towards the rest of Yah, hallelujah, because I started with honoring the Torah, started with honoring uh, uh, the original intent, of what the seventh day is and that is to worship hallelujah and rest hallelujah and learn of the most high Yah. so if you're not doing it that should be a check mark today if you know me and if you don't know me know that I, I, I I'm gonna pass away but there's one hallelujah that lives in eternity and he's gonna affirm he's gonna justify and he will bring a sting to that situation hallelujah so what you don't know don't be confused and as a a a as a unique gifted rapper, he says, just because you uh, don't believe, don't make it false. And I'm going to tell you this true. The word of Yah is true. It's yes and it's amen. He honor his word above his name. So you, 
better make sure you be found before the before the seat of the Messiah. Hallelujah. How many want to be uh, before the Messiah and not before their great right throne, throne judgment? Because you through if you are. It's worth the study. Hallelujah. You let you go to churches. You let in pastors and leaders, prophets, evangelists, and, and, and uh, teachers, and anybody else a uh, hook and a shy and tell you all this, sing to you. Uh, and, and you know, I got that little touch too, but you better be able to discern the spirit of Yah within these people. And whether they tell you a lie or whether they tell you the truth and do all you can to say, help master, help. Messiah, I need your truth because I don't want to enter into that lake of fire to be destroyed, to, to be destroyed with it and everything that doesn't obey the ways and the workings of Yah. Because it's coming. It's coming. Oh, yeah. Yahushua told his disciples, so persecuted the prophets that were before you, just as they do persecute me. But there's a reward after that persecution. Hallelujah. I deal with the persecution now and receive the reward of the eternal in the eternal in eternity with the most high Yah. hallelujah hallelujah we're working to enter into a rest rest that man can't see rest that can't be given by man rest that man didn't build up with his own hands but it's rest given by our eternal father hallelujah who spoke and the heavens was formed who spoke hallelujah and separated the heavens from the shamaim he is alive he's living hallelujah and he's real hallelujah and one day we all go see hallelujah i am a little excited i need you to my 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 um my um ipad went out i need uh hebrews you can just read it because i know where we want to go Started um, for the word of Yah is quick and powerful. For the word of Yah is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. Hallelujah. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Pause. Nothing escapes the Father. You can fool, I'm going to say it like my husband says it, that he would tell our children. You can fool me some of the time. It's hard to fool me. Hard to fool me. <laughs> you can't fool y'all. But we can't fool y'all. Shoot, that's hard to fool y'all. I promise you, I've been there. <laughs> Not taking no esteem from y'all. I've been there. Preaching, teaching, so-called prophesying, and hard. What even with my husband, a spirit of infidelity, caught in it. Oh, I've been there. I've been there. Where uh, uh robbing the Peter just to pay Paul. You know, and my intentions were set there, not answering bill collectors call because you had no intentions. Oh, I've been there. I've been there where you try to get up and teach a message, and you had even set over uh, at least five hours to indulge in the word of Yah. I. I have been there, but I tell you one thing, I've also been freed, I've also been delivered, and I also understand that I can't hide nothing from the eyes of whom I have to do, but when I yielded, when I surrendered all, hallelujah, that, that, that was in me, that I didn't want others to see, I didn't want others to know, the pride began to drop off me, hallelujah, oh, the ill will begin to drop off me, the spirit of deception and seekiness began to drop of me hallelujah and then the light of y'all begin to shine in me like never before and i submit to you today yasharal there's a light and we should be a city sitting upon a hill that cannot be hidden there should be a light shining in you because you don't have on hallelujah the bondage and the chains of this world because your mind has been delivered truly set free and you've been renewed in the spirit of your mind hallelujah yasharal know that you can't hide nothing from the eyes of whom we have to do give it up hallelujah give it up now before you are exposed in a manner hallelujah that do bring shame but guess what if you need help if you need help i'm here today to say a prayer with you i don't i don't teach without praying hallelujah because it's where abba has had me i understand how it is to be 
a, a bit shame and not wanting people to look at you at the corner of your eye or not wanting people to see my comment or not wanting people to see me raise my hand because I'm in need. But the word of Yah says you would rather feel the one who can destroy your body and your soul. Hallelujah to Sheol. I would rather do that than to fear mere man. So I'm going to pray with you today. Whether you're hearing it now when you need prayer, whether you're hearing it two weeks down the road, next year, whenever you hear it, I pray for deliverance in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach that you would truly, truly repent, 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 ah, for the kingdom of Yah truly is at hand. Oh, and they said, the kingdom of Yah is where? Is it in the ocean that we would say, bring it to me? Is it in the skies? You would ask for it to fall down. No, he said, the kingdom of Yah is near you, even in your mouth. All you have to do is confess with your Confess your sins, hallelujah, and repent and believe on Yahushua HaMashiach as your Savior. So today I'm praying, Abba Yah, as people listen to this message, that you would free them, free them, Abba Yah, that they can truly speak out of their mouth, that whom the Son has set free, he's freed them indeed. Abba Yah, thank you for delivering your people of their past and letting them know that there's nothing that they can hide from you, Abba Yah, for you already know all, you even know the number of hairs on our head. You're just not a, a, a candy daddy. You're not a sugar daddy, but you're a disciplining daddy. You will rebuke. You will correct. You chastise whom you love. Oh, Abba Yah, so we thank you, hallelujah, for truly being your portion. Thank you, Abba Yah, that our faculties of reasoning, understanding, our tongue, our mouth, and our lips, Abba Yah, our eyes, the gates that you've given us will bring esteem to you, that we, you would be pleased Abba Yah, with what you look when you see us and look upon us, may you find the faith of Yeshua, hallelujah, Hamashiach, within us, walking upon, hallelujah, this earth as you come back. Abba Yah, we thank you for deliverance and truth. Hallelujah. We thank you for deliverance and truth. We thank you for deliverance and truth. Hallelujah in the mighty name of the Most High Yah. All oh, to you be all the esteem. Be all the honor. Abba Yah. Hallelujah. And to you be all the majesty, the opinion, the power. Father, because in truth, even though we feel like we may be losing something or somebody going to speak, Father, you always cause us to triumph. You one day will present us faultless before the great one, before our king, before the king of the universe, Abba. So to you belong the majesty, dominion, and the power forever and ever. Hallelujah. May it be so. And let none of these words fall to the ground, Abba, y'all. Be pleased with the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. May it be acceptable, O great king, and bring forth fruit in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. And amen, it be so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Abba. We pray that something was said today that cut you, that made you think we need it. We can't hide. Clones can only have programmed emotions. Fakes get tired of being fake. But Yah reaches to the depths so that he can have the depth of us, all of us. He gave of his only begotten that he should reap much and many. It is a pattern of Yah. As sons and children of Abram, there was a promise made to him, to one man. And because of his obedience, his seed was plenteous as the sand on the seashore. Yahushua, because of his obedience, many were made righteous. Don't squander your righteousness. Come out. 
come out of Babylon. It ain't a people. It's a place and a mindset. Hallelujah. Before we, before we end, um, it was something just in my Ruach. I know I wasn't feeling too well today, um, but I'm unashamed. And it's a, it's a soul called pulling me through that I, I, I just want to sing unto Abba. Through all I have gone through, yeah, it was you, yeah, it was you, it was you pulling me through. Through it all, I have gone through. It was you pulling me through. When I stumble, when I cry, when I felt like I wanted to die, when my friends turned and they walked away, you were right here, right here to stay. It was you pulling me through. It was you. Hallelujah. Pulling me through. You'll never walk out on me. No, never. No, never. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. You'll never walk out on me. No, never. Hallelujah. No, never. Anybody understand that words I say? He'll never walk out on you. Hallelujah. No, never. Hallelujah. No, never. Hallelujah. He'll never walk out on you. No, never. No, never. One more time, yeah. He'll never walk out on you. Hallelujah. No, never. No, never. Through it all, through all that I went through, it was you, yeah, pulling me through, pulling me through. It was you, yeah, it was you, yeah, pulling me through. Hallelujah. So if you can testify to that, it was my husband, even though I praise y'all for him. It was my kids, even though I praise y'all for them. But it was y'all. It was my friends. It was my family my extended family, but it was Yah. Remember that. Don't withhold the truth from the one who is stretching out his hand. We can't hide none from Yah. He's the one who pulls you through. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom.